Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the channel once again. This is the finale of season 15 on LAFM uh, in the Masters and it sees us at Valencia circuit. Uh, this is a pretty good circuit, it's pretty quick. Uh, unfortunately the track limits are a little bit shonky so there's some interesting lines coming in a lot of the corners here. Um, I believe there's been a few reports, um, a few people getting banned for really exceeding track limits. But my, my aim this week is to make the top 50 in the Masters in Division 3. I'm currently just outside. Last week I had quite a good showing. This week, hoping for similar, uh, I find myself in the top split. Am I? Yes, top split. Um, but I'm pretty far at the back of it. So, you know, I'm hoping for a top 10. That would give me a good few points. We'll just need to wait and see what happens, really. Uh, hope for a good showing. I've qualified pretty low down, well, down in 17th, but I didn't have a very good qualifying. So, with a bit of luck, get my race head on and I can catch up a few places. That'd be great. I'm off the line, I wouldn't say very convincingly, I'm about to get overtaken by Franco already, I think he's coming up pretty fast behind me, uh, but I'm going to stick to this inside line because this first corner can be pretty chaotic I reckon, um, so yeah we'll just uh, stick to our guns here. And there's a bump in front already, another one, uh, right. uh, there's, oh, I just managed to avoid that, um, chaos behind me. Well, that's a few bonus places for uh, starters so as we come into T2. Again, this one, uh, some people are bringing some wide lines into the entrance of this well done, one. Uh, it's good not start. always very good. And there's another accident in front of me, and that looks like another two places. Yes, yeah, another two free places gained. So let's take a very quick look back at what happened as we come into the first corner. And there's Tejerina, and he's hitting one, two martinis. That's one martinis too many. Anyway, uh, sorry for the poor joke. And here we on board with Herrera, who takes out Vasquez, and that just causes absolute mayhem. Oh, dear. Yeah, that had a pretty serious knock-on effect and took out a whole bunch of people. So we're looking at it from the overhead camera on me. Um, and I'm going to be the one that takes the biggest advantage out of all of this, to be perfectly honest. That's quite lucky, really. Now we can see I'm being overtaken there. And as we look just ahead in the first corner, and we can see the accident with Herrera and Vasquez. And yeah, that takes everybody out. Confused a lot of people. People, unfortunately, with target fixation following that line. And now as we come into T2, we see the second accident. Uh, and yeah, there's a bit of a, a switcheroonie there working, um, and unfortunately, Testerina just makes a mess of it and takes out Hernandez with just a slight touch. So as we pick up the live action on lap five, we're coming into turn one, and I'm in behind Vasquez and Dickinson now, and you can see the really wide lines these guys are taking. That's just it's bang out of order, and look how wide Vasquez is there. He's way over the Aston Turf. He's so far out. That's crazy. Gives him a huge advantage coming this next corner. And there, unfortunately, we've got Dickinson losing it. Um, but I was concentrating so much on my mirrors that I didn't actually see that really happening. And unfortunately, I've clipped Dickinson now, which is a bit of a shame for him. Um, wow, there's nothing I could do there. I got on the brakes as fast as I could, but that was tricky. Let's just take a quick look back at that, shall we? Yeah, and we can see there Vasquez has just tagged him. And then I've unfortunately uh, clipped him as well, which is a bit of a shame. And uh, that's a bit of a disaster. Yeah, there's Vasquez. It was that huge line he's taken. Gives him a huge advantage coming in there. That's uh, really, that's pretty well bang out of order to be perfectly honest. I'm not very happy with these guys taking that line. And here we can see it from his point of view. He's coming at the T1, he's way out of line there. And just how far out can you possibly go? I mean, seriously, that's, that's so wrong. It's just, you know, he's given him a huge speed advantage. And then unfortunately, he's tapped the back of Dickinson turned him round and I've just come in behind I've braked as hard as I could as fast as I could but unfortunately I just hit him that's a real shame for Dickinson there he's just lost out big style and as we pick it back up on lap 8 I find myself in a bit of a Vasquez sandwich and um, well there's Vasquez in front making a bit of a mess of it he's going to try and cut me off I'm going to have to cut inside him and see All if right. I can uh, get a little bit faster than him but I'm pretty certain he's going into that really wide line on the exit uh, on the entrance to T1 here and that's just Hold it's so line. far out of order. Right. Uh, I'm going to take the widest line I can while staying on the track and just watch him go even further he's outside right. of me. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm just touching the brakes there, there and making a bit of a holix of it. I don't know why I'm still in fifth gear. I should be in fourth right. for that. But look at that. He's just he, he takes that pretty much flat out and he finds himself way, way faster than me too. Right, it's just that's crazy. It's left. really Stay bad lines here. This isn't over yet. You're halfway home. Is tight. Yeah, and let's just take another quick look at what he's doing here because it's so far out of order. I mean, he's way out in the pit lane, far side of it, and he's just 
hammering it through the corner. Absolutely so far out, it's just ridiculous. It really is. That, that's got to be something's going to be done okay, about look, that. You've got half your fuel left. Anyway, as we pick it back up again, I'm trying to throw it away. And as we come round here, we come round T5. Um, Vasquez has lost it. So Go that's, uh, you know, I'm going to get a free place there. Moves me up into fifth place. Quite pleased with that. Um, definitely higher than I was expecting at the beginning of this race. I was hoping for a top 10, but uh, being up in fifth place, I'm pretty pleased. Uh, so uh, let's just see if we can get my head down and, and uh, get on with it. So as we come on to the last lap, uh, just about to start the last lap, I find myself still in fifth place. I've got two Vasquez be right behind me. Last lap. And I, I know these guys are going to do something crazy here because that's just what they've been doing all race. They've just used these horrific lines that I'm just not willing to do. Don't mind losing it on a corner, but I ain't taking it that far out. And look at the pair of them, they're so far out. I mean, it's just crazy. And they're just a huge speed advantage. And there's Vasquez making a dive down the inside. Down. And yeah, thanks for that. Just Hold take that, why don't you? And again, are the other Vasquez. Seriously? That's just not very good, is Still it? There. And I, once again, there we go, taking completely out of it. Vasquez took me out of that completely. Ah, and I'm going to drop another place your there left. Left as Bruce clear. gets through. Don't mind that, he's done that pretty fairly, to be perfectly honest. But that's just utterly outrageous and actually I'm not happy. I'm going to have to report that, I think, because that's just bang out of order. Let's take another look at that, shall we? Look how far out they are. I mean, seriously, that's both Vasquez miles out. And I mean, that's just ridiculous. He is so far outside track limits, it's not true. And then he has the audacity to take me out as well. So thanks very much for that. That's really kind of you. First one pushed me off track, second one pushes me off, and then just basically thumps me out of the way. That's uh, not the best uh, sportsmanship. Thank you very much indeed. Anyway, so managed to hold on to eighth place. Hopefully I can stay again, stay ahead, just ahead of uh, Murua, who actually was the guy who nearly overtook me in the very first lap, before the first corner, and then I think he got Yellow taken track. out of it. So it's taken him quite a while to get back in contention, but you know, he's done it, fair play to him. He's made it in the top nine. He was starting off way down in 18th, 19th. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, but uh, hopefully I can just stay just ahead of him a little more. Uh, kind of block him off right. into, into the final the corner, right into Adrian Campos. And uh, yeah, down the final straight, I just managed to stay in 8th place. Well actually, I reported both Vasquez, uh, one of them got a 10 second penalty, which put me back up in the 7th place, which meant that in fact I did get 127 points and I went up into 47th place in the Mazdas. So happy with that. And then you can see the confirmation that Vasquez got a 10 second penalty and that put me up into 47th the Mazdas, so very happy. Definitely looking forward to seeing what season 16 has in store for us in the way of tracks. Um, some of those were quite good, some of them were horrific in uh, season 15. If you enjoyed it, keep watching, I'll be around again in season 16.